Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get VLC style gesture controls for the YouTube app on Android. Now, if you've ever used VLC player for Android, one of its coolest features is the ability to adjust brightness and volume by simply swiping the screen. You swipe up or down on the left half of the screen to adjust brightness, then do the same on the right half of the screen to change the volume. It's really intuitive. Well, the development team at AppListo liked that feature as well, but they figured it would be even better if we could use it in the YouTube app. The end result of their work is an app called Touch Controls for YouTube, and a free version is available on the Google Play Store. So to try it out, search the app by name and get it installed, or you can use the link in step one in my full tutorial. But once you've got the app installed, go ahead and open it up to do some initial setup. From here, you'll see a pop-up that's basically telling you to enable the app's accessibility service. So go ahead and press Accessibility Settings here. Next, just select the Touch Control for YouTube entry, then enable this service, and press OK on the pop-up. From there, head back out and open the app one more time, but this time go ahead and select the Settings option on the pop-up. Now really, there's not much you can do in here with the free version. You can adjust the swipe sensitivity, or you can have it use percentage numbers instead of regular increments. But if you like this app enough to buy the pro version for $1.50, you can enable some additional features like tap to play or 360 degree video detection. Aside from that though, all you have to do to use the new features is just play any YouTube video. The gestures really only work in full screen mode, but that's when they come in handy the most. You just swipe up or down on the right side of the screen to adjust volume. Then you can do the same on the left half of the screen to adjust brightness. Pretty cool, right? But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.